We have discussed all basics of deductions, how to draw the Venn diagrams on deduction statements, all those things in the basic video. If you haven't referred to that video earlier, I better suggest you go back to that video and then continue on this video. Well, our approaches in the first video I have mentioned, our approaches, what Venn diagram approach will show, I mean, we'll draw the Venn diagram and we'll find out whether the conclusions follow the statements or not. So this is all statement, all pure are sacred. So how do we draw the diagram? All diagram, all pure are sacred. Now, number two, some sacred are white. Some sacred are white. It doesn't say some pure are white. It says some sacred are white. So that would be an intersection between sacred and white. So we have two statements. First statement, all pure are sacred. Second one, some sacred are white. So that's basic diagram. So diagram part is completed. Now we look at the conclusions. Look at that first conclusion. Some white are sacred. Some white are sacred. Is it true? Yes. The diagram clearly says that some white are sacred. So that means the first conclusion is valid for the basic diagram. It's a positive conclusion and it's valid for the basic diagram. That means it follows. So it is valid for the basic diagram. So ultimately it follows. Follows what? Follows the statements. That is what you have to suppose to find. Every conclusion, whether it follows or not. That what that's exactly what we need to check. Second conclusion: some pure are white. Some pure are white, is it? The pure is not intersecting the white. What is the reason for that? The statement doesn't say pure is intersect, I mean intersecting the white. So in the basic diagram, we don't have the pure intersecting the white. So the second conclusion is invalid in the basic diagram, invalid. So it doesn't follow, doesn't follow. This is what you have to check in the exam point of view. Does it really follows or it doesn't follow? <coughs> so ultimately, when you answer that questions, usually the answer choices would be like this. You have to mark the answer A if conclusion only one follows. You have to mark the answer B if the conclusion only two follows. You have to mark the answer C if both conclusions follow. You have to mark the answer D if both the conclusion do not follow or neither one nor two follow. That's the case. How about we take another example? Again, we'll start from statements. What's the other name for statements? Exam, some of the exams, it's given us what? Premises as well. Premises as well. So statements are premises. So again, first statement. We'll take her a sum statement. Some red or blue. Well, in reality, some red or blue. Do you think it is a logical statement? Not necessarily, right? So don't even look at the logical existence of the statement when it comes to the deductions. Whatever given in the statement, you have to take it as true. Sometimes it may give one an some elephants are rats. We know that no elephant is rat. However, whatever is given in the statement, we will take it as true. Second one. All blue are oceans. Now, conclusions. Conclusion number one. It says that, well, all red are oceans. Number two says some 
blue or some blues are oceans. Now, the approach is look at the statements and draw the basic diagram. Then you have to come back to the conclusion, check whether the conclusions valid in the diagram or not. Let's try that. First of all, diagram. So how do we draw the diagram? We have two statements, sum and odd. Both are positive statements. So I prefer all statement first. When you draw the diagram, let's go for the all statement first. It's not a rule, but it is convenient. So I'll go that way. All blue are oceans. All blue are oceans. And some red are blue. So some red are blue. So that means blue is intersecting with the red. So blue is already here. Uh, it must be intersecting with the red. At the same time, look at this part. The red is intersecting with the blue. Then naturally blue is inside oceans. So oceans must be intersecting with the red as well. And now conclusions. All red are oceans. See that red and oceans intersect, but all reds are oceans. We cannot say that all red are oceans. So that is invalid. All red are oceans invalid for the basic diagram. Only some red are oceans. So it is invalid. So it doesn't follow. It doesn't follow. Some blues are oceans. Some blue are oceans. Is it? Some blue. Actually, all blue are oceans. If all blue are oceans, if you take some blue from here, is it oceans? Naturally, all blues are oceans. All blue are ocean, then naturally some blue must be ocean. All buses are passenger vehicles. Then you take some buses, it would be definitely passenger vehicles. So same case, some blue are oceans. So what is it? valid some blue are all blue are oceans so some blue are oceans is valid so if it is valid it follows so ultimately conclusion one doesn't follow and conclusion two follows so mark your answer as a if conclusion only one follows mark your answer as b only conclusion two follows this case conclusion two follows so probably mark your answer as b these directions, mark your answer as A, mark your answer as B, mark your answer as C. All these directions would be in, given in the question itself. So read the directions carefully before you answer A, you, before you mark A or B or C or D, whatever it is. So this is what the method to check whether the conclusions follow the statements or not. And we will get into the next example very soon.